This is a world first. China's Chang'e 6 lunar probe returns with rock samples from the moon's far side. Three weeks after it lifted off from the far side of the moon, China's Chang'e 6 spacecraft dropped off a capsule containing first of its kind lunar samples from retrieval from the plains of Inner Mongolia. The gum drop shaped sample return capsule floated down to the ground on the end of a parachute when the descent tracked on live television and after today's touchdown at 2.07 p.m. local time, 6.07 GMT, members of the mission's recovery team checked the capsule and unfurled a Chinese flag nearby. Chang'e 6, which was launched in early May, is the first robotic mission to land and lift off again from the moon's far side, the side that always faces away from our Earth. It's also the first mission to bring dirt and rocks from the far side back to our Earth. The Chang'e 6 lunar exploration mission achieved com complete success. Zhang Keijian, director of the Chinese National Space Administration, said from Mission Control, Chinese President Xi Jinping extended the crown congratulations to the mission team, the state-run Xinhua News Service reported. Chang'e 6 followed a flight plan similar to the one used for Chang'e 5, a mission that brought back samples from the moon's Earth-facing side in 2020. After entering lunar orbit, uh, the spacecraft sent the lander down to the moon's South Pole, Aitken Basin region. The lander used an onboard drill and robotic arm to collect the store samples and store the samples on its ascent stage. It also gathered data about its surroundings with a radon detector, a negative ion detector, and a mini rover. Data and telemetry were relayed between Chang'e 6 and Earth via Chang Kuiqiang 2 satellite. On June 4, Chang'e 6 ascent stage lifted off for a rendezvous with the orbiting spacecraft. The samples were transferred to a re-entry capsule and the spacecraft left lunar orbit several days ago for the trip back to Earth. The re-entry capsule was released as the spacecraft sped about 5,000 kilometers, that's 3,100 miles and over the South Atlantic Ocean, CNSA said in a mission update. And after an initial round of processing at the landing site in China's Inner Mongolia region, the capsule is due to be airlifted to Beijing, where emissions precious cargo will, remove, will be removed for distribution to researchers. The samples are expected to include volcanic rock and other materials that could shed fresh light on the moon's origins and compositional differences between the near side and the far side. Scientists may also learn more about resources in the moon's south polar region the region is of higher interest because it's thought to harbor deposits of water ice that could be used to support future lunar settlements. NASA is targeting the South Polar region as well for a series of robotic missions leading up to a crewed landing during the Artemis 3 mission, which is currently scheduled for 2026. China has its own lunar ambitions, including plans for sending astronauts to the lunar surface by 2030. This was originally published on Universe Today by Alan Boyle and it's on Science Alert. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.